area, then what is the difference between the pater and the PB area? So again, there is a considerable difference. But uh, as I said earlier on, if there is a uh, if there is a pater or the review periods are overlapping the, uh, of an existing product and the previous pater is already in place with the US government, the PB area is allowed. And this is more uh, comprehensive. When I say comprehensive, here are the uh, key differences. Very body slide. I don't want to go through entirely, but I want to pick you, uh, you know, talk about some key points. Individual case narratives, just like is, uh, uh, just like the PSUR, the older one, with fatal outcomes and event of special interest. When we say events of special interest, it is more to do with the risks. Um, PBRER, on the other hand, it is more of an analysis of risk evaluation. Of course, there has to be a regulatory uh, regulatory prescribing difference as well. Uh, 21 CFR 314.80, and it is for US FDA. On the other hand, this is more to do with uh, PBRER is for the European Medicine Agency, and it is uh, prepared according to the Module 7. Five sections, whereas over here it is uh, 20 sections. Uh, Peter includes presentation of the serious unlisted events, uh, something which was similar to the PSUR in section 6.3. Uh, and the regulatory update uh, and the regulatory updates of us whereas in the PBRER it is more to do uh, towards more of an integrated approach focused towards the risk benefit assessment a separate pater is to be submitted with each NDA approval for different indication or different formulations so this is more to do uh, it more talks about it is more of an indication or a formulation uh, uh, specific whereas uh, PBRER is for all the formulation and it's a single report that is being prepared. The uh, frequency uh, we discussed earlier on, I will not touch upon that. It's uh, more to do with squat quarterly for first three years followed by annually. And for newly approved uh, PSURs, it is six months for the first two years followed by annual. And of course, there are always exceptions. Uh, quarterly. An annual paid is to be submitted in 30 and 60 calendar days, whereas this is 70 and 90 in case of uh, annual or the multiple year. So these are the salient features is what I wanted to discuss.